What's going on everyone, it's DV, and today I've actually got something crazy to show you, which is how to turn off your textures in Roblox. So this is actually gonna work in all Roblox games, and basically what's gonna do is make it so that you don't have your typical texture. So if it's a Roblox texture that comes default with Roblox, you can pretty much disable that. So for example, look at, there's a sun at night. Isn't this weird? This is, have you ever seen this? This is like, this, it's nighttime, yet it's daylight. Like what? It's like daylight out, right? So what happens with this is you're actually disabling the skybox. So the skybox that usually shows up here, skybox is basically like what gives you the sense of like sky or like, you know, like usually see like kind of clouds and stuff out there. That's basically a skybox. By disabling the textures, you're essentially just, you know, the Roblox is not gonna load them. So like if we come out here, so li this looks kind of normal because these are actually um, textures made by the islands team. But as soon as we come out here, it's gonna start looking a little wacky. So check this out. So you can see like, well, this looks normal because these are train textures. But if you actually see like rig like material textures so like wood textures get disabled um, pretty much all the material textures get disabled and I'm actually gonna show you on Arsenal in a second here but look at look at the water look at the water look how weird the water looks it's like glassy clear now right so you can see straight into the water because there's no like sky <laughs> it's like perfect look how glassy clear this is that looks nuts so you can actually see inside the water in a way that you've never seen before so you can even see that you can find the fish a little easier too this way and if you want to make it even crazier you can do something like this so you see that it's just like flat it's totally flat looking even like the grass like isn't animating anymore pretty much this is just textures disabled so i'm actually going to go over to arsenal real quick and show you what it looks like in arsenal as well so anyway look at how crazy these textures look it just the game looks completely different it looks completely transformed it's a little easier to see players to some degree although this this like this lighting is a little crazy bright probably because there's so much reflecting going on so you'd have to turn you know turn some things down if you're going to play like this in fact i wonder if you actually turn down your you know, like graphics quality settings oh yeah that's night and day look at it's not like crazy shiny anymore. This is clean. Yeah, this is way cleaner. The anti-aliasing is kind of gone, which is kind of a bummer. Kind of missing that. It is a little easier to see though, which I really like. Dude, this, this weapon is so bad. Let me try one more thing. So let's see if I can get these settings correct. Basically right there. So we get a little bit more anti-aliasing at that setting. This is a pretty good compromise. But yeah, this is no texture. So I'm going to show you how to do this right now. It is actually a really quick process and to restore is even easier. It does not require any additional software or anything like that. You're pretty much just playing, you know, it's just, it's just Roblox. <laughs> I died. All right, so let's hit, let's go ahead and straight to it. So over here, basically what you're gonna do is inside your desktop, I'm gonna show you desktop view right here. So right here where your uh, your icon is, wherever your icon is on computer, you can pretty much um, right click on that, right? And you're gonna go to properties, okay? So right there, properties. And then what you're gonna do is we're just right after, you can actually do this, actually, this is gonna be a little easier. You can actually click on open file location, but if you don't have file location, you could pretty much do this. Just copy this entire path after, see this right here? You just copy the path right after the executable. So right right here. And then you can copy and paste that into your, your like a new file explorer. What I would do though, is just click on this button if you have it on your windows. And then what's going to happen is you're going to see this actually opens up right here. It shows you the, the, basically the executable here. And if you go over to platform content right here for this platform content, basically you go and click on PC and then you're going to go to textures and where the, where this is empty right now, you typically is textures. I already removed them. So I put them in this folder called D, but basically what you can do is you can go back here into textures, paste that back in. You're going to reload the game. I'm just loading my VIP server and we got our textures back. See, we got our brick back. We got all this stuff back. This concrete textures back. Now, the other thing you could do is if you didn't want particular textures, you could actually um, set it up so that you can only disable certain things. So like maybe you don't want the concrete texture, but you want everything else. You could basically go to the same folder, right? So let's go back to textures and look at concrete. So you can see they've got this um, these DDS files and you can actually, I believe I haven't tried this yet, but I'm pretty sure you can actually make your own as well. But in this case, I'm just going to drag this out to PC, this, this folder right above it. So now it's inside of this folder. Folder, right you can just put it in here if you want if you made a if you made a specific folder then you do that and then that way only concrete is going to be gone in the game so only concrete is going to be gone so this is going to be a smooth surface now so if i wanted to see that i can just go and reload and the same can be done for like things like grass or anything that you maybe maybe there's a particular texture you really don't like in roblox you could do it this way all right so i took out the concrete so now you can see i still have wood textures but all the concrete is now flat right it's actually a nice technique so you can that way if you maybe if you don't want the grass textures for trees like maybe you want the trees to be all flat colored then you would just take out the grass texture which is going to be used on this material and that's how you do it it's really simple and if you do want to actually swap things around maybe you want like instead of the concrete maybe you want this to look like grass at least the same texture then you can go actually swap them around so like you can basically just change the diffuse so check this out so see this for the grass textures see how it's like really 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 like diffused like it's super noisy you can't actually open dds files without a special app um, i think you can actually import them into photoshop using a plugin i 
I could actually like swap these out if I wanted to. And same for, you know, ice. Maybe I really like this ice kind of uh, effect. I can kind of swap textures around. And that actually could be useful in some cases, even like water. If you don't like the water kind of like, maybe I really want water to always be smooth, then you could do that. Um, or you didn't want it to like animate, then you could just kind of just make them all the same file so they don't actually animate. Because what happens is with water, it's just basically going through and looping this, right? So in order to get that wave effect, <laughs> dude, what? Okay, so this is what happens if you disable the terrain textures. <laughs> What? What the heck, dude? It's like an alien space planet. Oh my gosh. So if you actually remove the terrain texture right next to the other one, like, I don't, like, wow, this is ugly. <laughs> this is a really ugly way to play. So if you want to get this effect, basically what you do is inside the same folder where uh, PC is, you basically just take out the terrain um, folder as well. Now you can actually, it looks like, um, so there's normal, normal rays, materials. So it looks like um, they just kind of use like a different setup of materials and let's see what's in here iOS so these are like the texture sizes huh that's interesting but yeah this looks horrible oh you have you can like change the colors too that's cool so like if I want to change the colors of this this ground and stuff like if I wanted to put grass back in I can actually change the colors of stuff that's cool I can make my own world so let's actually try that so basically I'm going to change the color of the grass so let's see what the grass looks like here so leafy grass is a, this is like RGB values right so if I didn't want the grass to be that color maybe I wanted the grass to be all white all right, so let's go change this to white. Jeez, let's make sure we remember the colors here. Let me just make a backup of this. <laughs> I always recommend making backups whenever you can, okay? Backup. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to that. All right, let's go back to that file. Okay, so we're going to edit that with Notepad. And I'm going to go back to Grass. And I'm going to change Grass to 255 because that's basically the max color, right? So 255, 255, and 255 are basically white. So that's max color across the board. And then I want the other grass as well to be white. I'm just curious curious if this is going to work. I've never done this before, so it's really funny. All right, so I'm going to close that and then I'm going to bring this back up and then we're going to restore the terrain folder back into my PC folder and then we're going to reload islands. I can't wait to see if this works. Doing this, you can completely mod islands, like the looks of it. Now, there are limitations of the colors for terrain because I've messed around a lot in Roblox, you know, studio. And so with studio, there are limitations of what like you can make things, you know, colored wise. Um, some things like sand are a little bit easier to alter, but um, like grass is a little bit more challenging and stuff. So let's go out there and then see what happens. Oh my gosh. Look how weird this looks like. Look how weird this looks. What the heck? Ew. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Dude, this is so much fun. Oh man, people would be like, uh, DB, what game are you playing? You could actually like complete alter. So what you could do is you can actually go into studio if you wanted to, and then pick all the terrain colors that you really, really wanted. And you could essentially just like, man, you could, you could make anything you wanted. Um, like the snow, I can actually make the snow red and stuff. That'd be hilarious. I would really confuse the game team if I did this. I would really confuse them. Dude, look at, look at this. This looks so weird. Like I can even change the color of this grass or the ground right here. Like, I think this is like just, I forgot what this is mud. I think this is mud right here. So that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward and simple. If you have any questions, definitely, you know, ask me in the comments below. If you thought this was helpful for you, especially if you play any other games like, you know, islands, it doesn't really affect a whole lot other than the sky. But um, be, especially considering all the textures by islands are, are unique, then, uh, you know, but if you want to use it in other games that have like, that are very texture heavy and maybe just want to make it a little cleaner and easier for you to see stuff. I think this is definitely, you know, a great way to do it. And uh, if it's useful, you please hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new and i will see you all in the next video take it easy